welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, hey, hello, my name is Lauren, otherwise known as the Digital Planning Gal. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite iPad accessories and I'm so excited because I love me some iPad accessories. I cannot stop myself from buying them on Amazon and it's quite honestly one of my favorite hobbies. I share all of these as fun unboxings and things over on my Instagram and my TikTok, so make sure you guys are following me over there if you wanna see them first. But let's go ahead and jump on into my favorite iPad accessories. First off, we're gonna start with the cases. Now I have two iPads. I have the iPad Pro and I also have the new 2022 iPad Air. On my iPad Air, the new one, which by the way, I just did an unboxing of this iPad, so if you wanna go and check it out, I'll link it up here. This is a clear case that I like to keep on this iPad because this one is a cute pink color, Coming off is a little gold on camera, but it is pink, I promise. I love the clear one because I really like to be able to see the back of this one and the color of it, and I keep it really simple. This is kind of like my personal iPad that I like to use around the house because of the size. And this one does still allow the Apple Pen to clip onto the side, but it's perfect for when I'm just like, you know, using it around the house or something like that. This one doesn't really travel a ton with me. Oh, and by the way, I totally forgot to mention, everything will be linked into the description box for you guys. If you wanna go and shop any of these things, I'll have them all linked down below for you. For my iPad Pro, I personally love this case here. This one is so fantastic and very, very helpful. And let me tell you why. I really like the sleek design of this case here and you can actually see the iPad on the side because this case is actually magnetic on the back. So instead of it being surrounded on the edges like this clear case does, this one actually does not go all the way around the edges. And I actually really like that. So it sits on top of the case like this and this back part of the case is actually magnetic so the ipad will kind of snap to it and that's what kind of holds it in there safely i like my case like this because of this one i can actually put my apple pin on the side of the ipad and then shut this case and the little flap, it goes right over top of the Apple Pin. So this way I can have the sleek design without a bulky case and my Apple Pin will still stay connected and it has a little protective cover. So when I'm like toting this around in my bags and things like that, I'm not losing the Apple Pin and it gets lost and whatever. I love this case so much. This one comes in a pretty rose colored pink color. So big, big fan of this one. My next iPad accessory favorite is a screen protector. Now this one's currently on my actual iPad Pro and this is what I prefer for my iPad that I'm working on a lot. This is the paper-like screen protector and this actually gives you the feeling of writing on a paper with a pen or pencil. So if you're someone who kind of has a hard time with like the uh, very like slipperiness of your iPad screen, this would be my suggestion to you. They're a little difficult to put on but once you get them on, they're so worth it. I have one currently on my iPad Pro. Need to order one for my iPad Air, but you can kind of see it here. It gives this almost kind of like matte finish to your screen and it's just so much nicer to write on. It almost gives you a little bit more friction when you're writing, which makes it a little easier to write on the iPad. Whereas without it, it can be a little slippery because you don't really have any of that traction like you would on a normal piece of paper. Speaking of writing, we'll go on to the Apple Pen accessories that I love the most. First off, I have this adorable pink cow print sleeve for my Apple Pen. I love this so much. It does make it a little easier to hold the pen as it is kind of like a grippy material Material. and this one's thin enough that it can still charge on the side of the iPad with no problems. You just like slip it right over top of your Apple Pin and you're good to go. I do also have the Apple Pin too. This is like the number one accessory I would recommend for iPads because I use the Apple Pin all of the time and sometimes I forget it's even like an accessory because I feel like they are just one in the same, you know, iPad and Apple Pin, they go together like hand in hand but an Apple Pen is definitely an essential for me. The next Apple Pen accessory is actually the little tip that I put on mine. You can see here, it almost looks like a mechanical pencil tip, which is why I really like this. I personally like writing with this. I like the way that it feels. I feel like I have a little bit more control and I feel like I can see better what I'm writing with. Some people say it doesn't really make a difference and then they don't really care about it, but I personally really like this one because I like the way that it feels on my Apple Pen and on my screen. I think it makes 
makes it a little bit easier to write. Some people ask, does it leave scratches on your screen protector or on your screen in general? I have not noticed that. However, I wouldn't say I'm a very heavy writer. So if you are a very heavy handed writer, I would be a little bit more cautious with this. The next accessory is not necessarily a must have, but I find it very helpful when I'm in my office. When I'm sitting down at my desk, I sometimes like to switch back and forth between writing and typing on the iPad. When I'm writing on the iPad, like it's easy just to tap my little pen onto the side of the iPad, but if I'm switching back and forth, it can get a little annoying, which is why I love this little guy here. This is actually a stand that you can just put your Apple Pen into when it's on your desk, just like this. No, it does not charge it, or should did, that might be cool because the new ones don't charge on the little end, they charge on the sides. I love this little stand for just putting my pen on my desk when I'm switching in between writing and typing. It makes it really easy and it's also cute and aesthetic and it kind of just reminds me of a little like pen in an inkwell. I don't know, it's really cute. So it's just another fun accessory. The next accessory is my iPad stand. Of course, it is pink. You guys know I love my pinks and my reds. Of course, <laughs> this iPad stand comes in handy so much, you guys. Whether I'm leaving my iPad on it to watch a show or TV or YouTube, or if I'm putting it and propping it up so that I can see my planner spread while I'm working at my desk, or even just to prop up the iPad while I'm typing on my keyboards, this thing comes in handy all the time. It does have little holes in the back, so if you want to keep a charger plugged in or something, you can also do that. It's got the little rubber padding on here for the foot and on the back, so you're not gonna be scratching or iPad or anything as well. And I just love the color of this. I think it's really cute. I can like leave it out on my desk and it still looks really pretty and it is very, very functional. And last but not least, my favorite iPad accessory. Woo! This keyboard right here is the Logitech Pop Keys. I believe this is the one in a berry color or something like that. I love this keyboard. First, because, well, it's stunning. I mean, just look at the gorgeous colors of this thing. Second off, this keyboard is actually Bluetooth, so it has three different buttons here where you can switch it back and forth between your devices. So you could connect it to your computer, your iPad, and even your phone if you wanted to and be able to use it for multiple devices. I love using this with my iPad because the keyboard sounds fantastic. It's really great when I wanna be typing a lot of things instead of writing something, or if I'm gonna be working on taking notes or something else a little more seriously. Great if you use your iPad more as like a computer and less as a tablet. I think this is a fantastic purchase especially if you use your iPad in like a desk setting or something. This is not the most portable keyboard, but you absolutely could travel around with it if you wanted to. I would just get a little special case for it, but I love this keyboard to death and it's so cute and like the buttons, like it's just a lovely noise. I don't know. Does anyone else like these just sound fantastic. I can't get over it. I literally love it so much. So of course, this is a must for me. I love switching back and forth between different keyboards. I do have several kinds. So I'll link some of my favorite ones down below that I've used in the past, but I would definitely say that this is my number one. <laughs> so my all time favorite right here. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my iPad essentials and favorite accessories. Right here, I'm gonna link for you another video I think you'll find helpful, as well as another playlist full of fun plan with me so you guys can stick around and see how I use my digital planner. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna find my subscribe button so you guys can stick around for more videos. And I'm also gonna have another subscribe button to my lifestyle channel where I post more fun lifestyle content. And without further ado guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.